It never really occurred to Simon that it was an issue until it was too late. And as he sat there in his now empty house, seeing only small hints of a life now past, he wept. His wife was gone, and it was definitely too late to even try to reconcile. But how had he let it come to this? He wanted to hate the world, but he knew it was his own doing. She had begged him for weeks to stop, pleaded with him to lean on her instead of his addiction. Her pleading had fallen on deaf ears. He wasn't himself. He couldn't seem to get back to the man that she and he both knew that he could be. Trapped in a downward spiral, relying on self-hate and the need to be alone because somewhere in his jaded heart he had agreed for years that that was what he deserved. And here he was, alone. The self-fulfilling prophecy had come true. And he wept. He looked at the demon in the shape of a bottle with rage and hurt that he felt was unmatched by anything in the world. It had won. He had lost. She was gone. He closed his eyes. No need to get up anymore. Life was over. Life was over. He lay there on the cold ground, thinking about all the mistakes he had made. Feeling all the regret hit him all at once. And then, he heard the door open. It was his wife. She hadn't given up. She really did love him.